One of the other functions that gets asked about a lot is the Z39.50 client within MarkEdit. Um, Z39.50 is a protocol that's being used to allow libraries to transfer da metadata records from one cataloging system to another. Uh, it's been around for a long time about, and uh, pretty well established. So MarkEdit has a number of ways of using Z39.50. One is directly within the Mark Editor. For those that ex support the extended Z39.50 functionality, MarkEdit has the ability to import, update, delete, and manage records through Z39.50. Um, systems that do this primarily, uh, OCLC has a Z39.50 cataloging interface, as does the Koha library system. So you could use MarkEdit as a native metadata editor in either one of those two systems. Um, since I don't have a uh, handy um, anything uh, 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 server to show how this works, I'm just going to tell you that these are the functions that you have, and if you need um, additional assistance, there's um, information in the documentation. The other way, and probably the more common way of using Z39.50 in MarkEdit is this button here, the Z39.50 SRU client. Uh, from here, we can select from a number of databases. There is, in MarkEdit, a number of them that have been defined. There's a master list. Um, this is a master list that gets scraped from um, the uh, Z39.50 list that the Library of Congress provides. Not all of the connections are likely to be correct at any given point in time, but they give you a starting point. Um, you can also add your own, which is what I end up doing an awful lot of the time, where you can just add your own Z39.50 information. Alright, there are two search modes. There's search mode, which is single search, and then there's batch search, um, where you can pass a, uh, a, a batch set of searches in a file, so either an ISBN search, title author search, or custom, which would be um, a raw Z39.50 search through the application and search one of these databases that has been selected. I'm going to look mostly at this single search. Um, within Z39.50, MarkEdit defines title, author, subject, ISBN, ISSN, record number and keyword as indexes that you can search by default. And then there's also the ability to do advanced searching. So those would be uh, raw Z39.50 searches. Um, there's a retrieve as Unicode. If you check that, MarkEdit will essentially return back to you Unicode data. Um, this is whether the system retrieves the data in Unicode or not. MarkEdit will facilitate that process. Um, you can edit the library systems. The settings for the Z3950, so let's go ahead and pick OSU because it's close by and I know that the, the data should come back quickly. Um, we can edit the various settings, so we've got the name, this is the name users will see, um, host, database, ports, syntax, by default it defines 21 US Mark XML, but you can basically enter in any format that it supports, so for example I could enter in OPAC because that's supported in the system. Um, there's this override pause, this was created specifically for the Library of Congress and people who throttle Z3 and F50 connections. By default, MarkEdit will pause um, searches that are done in batch mode, but if you have a system that doesn't throttle those connections, you might as well turn that off. And so this gives you the ability to override that pause. Then you have advanced functionality where you can basically say um, what kind of structure attributes, and then if there's element sets, and then some more information you've got a link there for it. So let's go ahead and do a search here and take a look at the take a look at how this works. Um, we get a record, and from here we can do a number of things. If we just double click on this record, it will open the record up um, into a generic text editor. Uh, from here we can make some small changes to the record and then download it. Um, we can download it as is, or we can just ignore it. Um, you can see where the file is going to be saved right here. This is the save file. Um, you can tell it whether or not you want to append to that file or not. Um, you can print out the record. Or, and then you can click this button here to download the record. Um, additionally, from here, you can right-click on the file, display the record, download the record, or if there were multiple records, you could download all records, select multiple records and download them all. New to MarkEdit this year, uh, this update, is the ability to select multiple databases. So we'll select um, 
multiple records. You can see here Oregon State University, University of Oregon. We'll do the same search. And we can see here if we look, it says database. And you can see the two databases here um, that were searched from. And so we could actually download both records. into the record file. Um, options available to be set. We have here title, so you tell it what's the title field so it knows where the title field is in your records. This is in case you're using a different flavor of mark. Um, the number of records to download per request, so limit set at 20 right now. A generic save file. And then proxy. So some people connect to a, connect their, in, to their uh, internet through a proxy. Um, the proxy here is if you're using a PAC file, but more useful um, is actually just asking MarkEdit to automatically detect your proxy setting. And so what this will do is it will use whatever your Windows system proxy settings are, and it will utilize those during the search. Um, and that's pretty much how this little program works. Um, the batch mode provides, as I said, a number of functionalities for doing batch searching, but um, I don't have a, a demonstration of that, and it's pretty uh, well documented. So um, that's the Z3 and MF50 client in a nutshell.